Hey there, welcome to Live Chat University. In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about customizing the chat widget's appearance to match the look and feel of your website, what eye catchers are and how to use them, and we're also gonna be diving more into creating different targeted messages for each web page or customer group. Let's do this. <music> Let's start off with customizing the chat widget. So for that, we're going to go into settings. We're going to go into chat widget here and we're gonna click on customization. Now what's really cool apart from all the customization you can do is that you can actually edit the chat widget on your site. So here you can enter the URL address of the website you wanna edit the widget on. So I'm gonna choose livechat.com and select go to website to proceed. By the way, you can check it out on as many websites as you like and also customize the chat widget on specific domains. We'll leave a link down below if you're interested. Anyways, this is called the live editor. Let's go see the preview. So it allows you to seamlessly match chat window looks and position with your website. You can use it to safely test your design on a live website without the need to save it and make it visible to the public. And also without even adding the live chat JavaScript code to your website. For now, we'll use the live chat configurator and see all the cool things we can customize. So here at the top, we have appearance, where you can pick the theme of your chat window. You can choose between smooth and modern. We'll go with smooth. And in addition to changing the theme of your chat, you can also change the style of your minimized window. So you can choose between a simple yet functional bar and a modern minimalistic bubble. I'm gonna stay with bubble. For those of you who like dark mode, we've got you covered. The dark mode makes your widget display text in white color on a dark background. It affects all the widget elements, including rich messages and forms. So you wanna click on dark mode to set the dark mode for your chat window. Moving on, we have pick your color. So now you can either select a theme color to use one of our predefined sets, or you can choose any combination that suits you. Now, before we get going, I just wanna mention that all default colors that can be customized have a contrast score of 4.5 or higher. And the chat widget is accessible to text-to-speech readers, which makes the chat widget accessible to visually impaired customers. If you wanna make the chat widget more unique by choosing a custom color scheme, click on more color settings. And that's that. Next, we have position. So in the widget position, you can decide where the chat widget should be placed on your website. You can choose between left and right. You can define the spacing between your chat widget and corresponding bottom side edges. Then we have visibility, which lets you control when to display the chat widget icon on your website. We've got three options to choose from. The chat widget is always available, very straightforward. And the second one, hide widget until it gets activated. The option allows you to keep your chat widget hidden until it gets activated via greeting and interaction with a custom start chat button added to your website or an open chat window API method. Once a chat starts, a customer can initiate conversation by clicking on the chat widget icon as well. Lastly, we have always hide minimized widget icon. So the widget icon is never displayed. Therefore, your visitors can't initiate a chat by clicking on it. Now chats can start when either a visitor interacts with a custom start chat button added to your website, or if you implemented an open chat window API method that builds a custom mechanism responsible for opening a chat. If you wanna learn more about chat visibility, then after watching today's tutorial, you'll find a link down in the description. Next, let's move on to mobile chat widget. So in this section, you can control whether you want to show your chat widget on mobile. Now this option is turned on by default. The chat widget is designed to look and function well on mobile. And in many countries, the majority of users access websites on their mobile devices. Now, if you decide to have it displayed on mobile, you can choose to have it appear same as on desktop. However, if you want to change your chat widget to be displayed differently on mobile devices, then you can select this option. Then we have additional tweaks, where you can change the behavior of your chat window without modifying live chat script added to the source code of your website. Now, there are quite a few things that you can modify. So we have show logo, now you can upload your own logo that will be displayed in the top right corner next to agent details. Or we also have show agents photo. So you can decide whether you'd like to display your agent's photo during a chat in the chat bubble, after your customer will minimize the chat window or receive a greeting. 
and enable sound notifications for customers. Now, by default, your customers will be notified about a new greeting and a new message received in the chat by a sound notification. This should get their attention whenever they, for example, have minimized their browser while talking to one of your agents. However, if you'd like to disable those sound notifications, simply switch it off. Next, we have let customers rate agents. So with this option, you can decide whether your customers can rate agents during or after the chat. Let customers get chat transcripts. So you can turn this on um, to give your customers the possibility to request a transcript of their current chat. The chat transcript will be sent to their email. To make sure that the transcripts are sent only to the customers who want them, we send a verification email to customers requesting a transcript for the first time. Now, once their email address is verified, the requested transcripts are sent immediately. And one more very important thing, never forget it. Press save changes. And we did it. Now, for the most tech savvy, we actually have the chat widget JavaScript API, which is an easy yet powerful way to integrate your website or application with live chat platform. We also have live chat customer SDK, which is a set of tools that helps you build a custom chat widget. So if you'd like even more customization for super specific use cases, then you can dive into live chat SDK after this video. But for now, there's a lot more to learn. Let's keep going. Eye catchers. Eye catchers can actually help you get more chats by drawing your visitors' attention to the chat widget on your website. So for that, we need to go into settings. We need to click on engagement and we need to open up targeted messages. Now, if you already have some greetings set up, you wanna make sure that multiple targeted messages are switched on. This way, your eye catcher greeting will be displayed first and the other greetings will be displayed when their conditions are met. So let's go and set up our eye catcher. What you wanna do is you wanna click on new targeted message and in the pop-up, you wanna choose greeting. And the first thing you wanna take a look at is the greeting type. So we're looking at eye catchers here and we're working on an eye catcher. So just be conscious of that. Um, you have a few greeting types to choose from. If you want one with, with an image, you can simply choose card. And you can actually click on the image to edit. Now you can pick from those provided or you can paste a link to a custom image. And you can also click on the message here or the buttons and simply edit it just like that. And next, I'm just gonna leave it as it is and we're gonna move on to set conditions. So if you'd like the eye catcher greeting to appear immediately, you wanna set the delay to zero seconds here. And if you'd like it to appear everywhere on your site, delete the other conditions. Now, before you do that, I want to dive into creating different eye catchers, greetings, and announcements for different pages or customer groups so that you can target the right audience with conditions. Eye catchers, greetings, and announcements all fit under targeted messages. We talked about this a bit before in our engaging customers with chat lesson. So we know the basics. You can set up different types of targeted messages depending on user's behavior, traffic source, and traffic patterns. These are the condition types you can set up. There's a lot you can change around. I, I know this is a lot of info for right now. However, you can take your time, rewind, rewatch, or take a look at the link about setting conditions in the description. So, Click on save greeting to save our eye catcher. Let's give our eye catcher a name. So I'll do eye catcher zero seconds or something like that. Set it to live and save it. Now our eye catcher is up and running. Now, if you choose to upload your own image, then here are some guidelines. For formats, you wanna make sure they're either JPEG, PNG, or GIF. And the optimal image size for the greeting image is 460 times 300 pixels for retina ready. You also wanna make sure to keep it simple and beware of those small elements. Keep the context in mind, and lastly, handle animations with care. So that's all for today. Go and customize away. Let us know how it goes. Take care and see you soon.